All right, so welcome back to the Cardano family. Appreciate you guys for showing tremendous amount of love. I don't even want to get uh, into the detail because, of course, I did uh, in the previous update about Cardano. You know, the overwhelming support is much appreciated, guys, uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Continue supporting, and you guys know the drill. I'll try my best to continue bringing out these updates. But as we did close out the week, weekend, sorry, we are seeing market setting itself up for a brand new week ahead of itself. And in terms of the momentum as of now, you know, the momentum is still positive. Um, you are seeing a broader market still in green. A few handful coins here and there that are seeing a little bit of a pullback. But again, if you're looking at the broader market over the course of the last five days to be specific, everything seems to be um, up except uh, you know, one or two coins. And so that tells you everything you need to know. But ADA specifically, Cardano is up 74.6%. This has left, this specific move for Cardano has left a lot of haters speechless. And uh, this is something we anticipated uh, when I was talking about ADA, when it really didn't have that move. I did say, you know, when you see that breakout, those resistances being retested, you're going to see people flock towards ADA and call themselves the biggest ADA supporters. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now happening. But let's take a closer look and see what's happening with the price and of course what is yet to come. But before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So the price of ADA is currently sitting at 58.1 cents, up 0.3% in USD comparative. We're down about 1.5% in Bitcoin comparative. Market cap almost at $21 billion. And the 24-hour trading volume is at a staggering $5.3 billion, which is not a small number by any means. But what I want to show you guys before we get into the you know charts and all that good stuff, look at this. Take a look at this. So I want you guys to take a look at Google Trends and the why the Google Trends is so important is kind of gives us a little bit of a better understanding in terms of interest, right? Um, you can see the amount of searches that are happening for ADA over the course of the last, uh, you know, two to three days is the highest that it has been over the course of the last 12 months. People are going to come out and say, you know, what, what's going on? That makes no sense because ADA, um, you know, reached a yearly high back in March. Why did we not see that? Because this time around, there's more interest because, of course, the U.S. elections are, you know, behind us. Donald Trump is the president who is the president of the United States that supports cryptocurrencies and wants, you know, United States of America to uh, be the crypto hub. So, of course, you're going to see a tremendous amount of, you know, excitement within the crypto space. And um, Cardano, there's a lot of bullish, um, you know, news coming out of ADA as well. But I know a lot of people are going to be kind of confused. And when I say a lot of people, I'm specifically talking about people that are already in ADA during the uncertain times. And what I mean by that is when you know, the price wasn't doing anything, you were hearing some big things happening for ADA in terms of development for the project itself. Um, but you can come out and say, why was the price not moving? Because it goes back to my main point, every single update that I told you guys, supply and demand. The demand was just not there. And right now you are seeing the demand ticking in and you're starting to see a complete different side of ADA playing out in terms of the price action itself. So this is, um, you know, the beauty of understanding sentiments and i'm sure you guys can see what's happening but you know if you're looking at the dominance index right now uh we know that the dominance pulled down to the likes of 58.56 percent but shot up uh, over the course of the last i would say three to four hours because bitcoin had a fake out and what i mean by that is i've shared this one and several updates this is the hourly time frame btc was sitting at the likes of eighty one thousand dollars. we saw all the way um you know retest down to seventy eight thousand four hundred sixty, and it literally went up back towards a new all-time high at almost eighty two thousand dollars. so a complete shakeout clearly um and of course this in return caused the dominance to pick up so that has caused some of the coins across the board to see a little bit of a minor pullback but in a bigger picture you know the past five days have been you know, a moment to live for uh, for the crypto markets as we know. But if you're looking at this move right now, like I said, this has left a lot of haters speechless. And, um, you know, I don't care. Haters are going to hate and it's not just for ADA. There's haters for everything. 
no matter what you look at, sports, crypto, stocks, it's not just going to be people loving uh, one thing. If that was the case, it just makes absolute no sense, right? And it's not even, there's no fun into it. And right now, um, you know, I was reading a few comments coming in. Oh, Crypto ZX, I wish I never sold my ADA. Just before I sold it, it's the price of ADA, you know, blew up. And that happens. Uh, but, you know, there's two sides of things. There's ones that are just completely trolls and the ones that just, you know, just missed out or had their uh, portfolios diversified and maybe they put their pr profits somewhere else or, you know, allocated their positions into something else, which is totally fine. At the end of the day, people make their own decisions. But um, like I said, this move has, you know, sent shockwaves, literally shockwaves through the crypto space and confirms what we speak about on this channel. I don't care about what other people talk about, but your boy Crypto ZX, go literally behind and watch any of my Cardano update. I've always spoken about that this is a PO, so it's a proof of stake consensus. Cardano is a proof of stake consensus, meaning you can stake your ADA coins. And there's a huge chunk of investors that actually stake, which makes you know Cardano more scarce, meaning when a complete snap shift happens, when heat comes to the space um, or towards ADA, there's less amount of ADA to be purchased, which in return causes a price to go up much higher than anticipated. And here we are looking at that. ADA is on the verge of breaking towards the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And as I spoke to you guys about literally yesterday's update, if you said this to anyone just over the last few um, you know, days, people would have laughed literally laughed at the fact that, you know, Cardano could go to the likes of almost 78.6. And here we are. ADA is about to enter the 78.6 once again. And if once this happens, guys, I think we could start heading towards, you know, that key resistance, psychological dollar price point. But um, we did see the price of ADA going to the likes of 65, almost 66 cents. Um, obviously has seen a retracement, which is very normal. Nothing is gonna go up straight forever. So that's something I wanna tell you guys, of course. But look at the performance. Uh, from November 4th, you saw ADA go up 101%. You know, let this sink in, guys. This is not a small move. This is one of the biggest coins in the crypto markets. So pretty much in terms of looking at the market valuations, you can say about $10.5 billion has, you know, flown into Cardano over the course of the last, you know, four to five days. Let that sink in. And right now, I'm really liking where the price is currently sitting. And like I said, a retracement is needed. We're sitting above that $0.57 cents key support resistance, which, of course, is coming as a support. Uh, we got that confirmation right there. Uh, but yeah, you know, the $0.78.6, $0.69 cents resistance is uh, where my eyes are on. If we're able to break out of there, I think excitement is going to be really felt uh, for ADA to really pick things up quite fast. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below what you guys think right now. What are you doing right now? Let me uh, kind of just take a quick look at the hourly time frame to really understand what's happening. So here we are. Look at this, guys. So a beautiful move, of course. I uh, saw a retracement. Of course, I don't really take a look into this wick. Obviously, that happened due to Bitcoin. Uh, but we can see how fast ADA has been picking up traction. So, so far, so good. Liking where it's sitting at. 78.6 is where my eyes are on. If it's able to get into that, I think fireworks really kick in. But let me know down below what you guys think right now. What are you doing? Are you in it for the long term? Uh, or are you here for the next uh, maybe 6 to 12 months? Obviously, in terms of super cycle, I think we still need a little bit more confirmation. I was originally, um, you know, hoping that maybe quarter one is going to be the top sometime but you know i'm starting to look at it from a completely different standpoint but that's based off of where i'm currently seeing but i'm still going to be very cautious uh, obviously i'll let you guys know as time goes by but that's in my own personal opinion love each and every one of you guys thank you for all your support we'll see you tomorrow with crypto zx and peace out